This is a seventh episode of the Tanzania Safari series. If you haven't seen the other six, hit the playlist link at the end of this video or in the description below. Get in our safari vehicle and let's go on safari. The Retima Hippo Pool is a natural watering hole where hundreds of hippopotamuses can often be seen wallowing. The hippo is well adapted to life in new water. Eyes, ears are located at the top of his head, so it can breathe, see and hear while nearly submerged. Tina River with many more hippos with little ones. A male, called a bull, marks his territory by spraying dung and urine along the banks. He stays here for several years with his females, taking on challenges from other males by opening his mouth and displaying his dangerous teeth, which can inflict fatal wounds. The Maasai giraffe has an extremely elongated neck, which can be up to 2 to 2.4 meters in length. Mostly giraffes eat plants they can easily reach. They do however eat some grass. But to eat short grass close to the ground, these huge animals have to either bend at the knee or splay their front legs wide apart and to the front. The large edge of an African elephant help to reduce body heat. Flapping them creates air currents. The marabou stork is sometimes called the undertaker bird cloak-like wings and back, 
skinny white legs and sometimes a large white mass of hair. Without a spotted hyena's ability to crush and eat bones, the plains would be filled with them. It's quite impossible for a layman to tell the difference between a male and a female hyena. African lioness on a kopje, rock outcropping, with three cops, suckling. The rock hyrax is the most closely related to the elephant. The lions here use the copjes as vantage points from which to spot prey. Altogether hard to see, from a few hundred yards, we encountered many lions in trees. Pygmy falcon is the smallest raptor in Africa. This is the female. The helmeted guinea fowl has a very small head compared with its round body.
many vultures fight over the remains of a lion kill. The saddle-built stock feeds mainly on fish, frogs and crabs. They move in a deliberate and stately manner as they hunt, in a similar way to the larger herons. Lions spend between 16 to 20 hours each day resting and sleeping. Getting dust between their feathers helps absorb excess oils and is an important part of ostrich care. Next week we'll post the third episode on the Serengeti. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us! us.